Miss Penny. Bye-bye. Bye, Miss Penny. See you later. All right. It's uh, 3 30 a.m. and I'm heading to Wisconsin for our uh, our uh, first um, hunt of the 2022 season. So pretty exciting. Let's get going. eight hour trip in just a few seconds there. I finally made it to where we're hunting at. Um, uh, we're actually, I can just tell you now, we're up in Fort McCoy. <laughs> um, me and Dan and a lot of the other guys obviously still had tag for the, the military base. Um, so we decided to come back up here and give it a try during the, the late season here. It is 1030 right now. So um got plenty of time at least a couple hours to go figure out a couple spots may throw a couple of trail cameras up and then hit the cabin uh after i'm done hunting all right now let's try to change our clothes here in this little area all right there we go that wasn't so bad was it so what i'm gonna do is um just from some some past experience here in september I have some ideas of where I think deer may be during late season. Uh, me and Dan kind of talked about it on, on our last podcast about um, late season, the late season, late, late season Q and A. And he, you know, a lot of deer this time of year will be down in the, the low areas, real nasty, thick areas um, where they can, you know, stay out of the wind, stay out of the um, kind of the hill country. That there is some hill country around here. We just don't think uh, starting off here that they're going to be up in those hills because it's going to be pretty pretty bare. A lot of mature timber here um, where they're not going to have much cover, but we'll see. I'm going to drive the roads and, and look for tracks coming out, um, going into some private crop fields to see if there's any activity going on um, kind of on that side. I also have a north wind today, so that's going to also play a factor today because I'm going on the south side of the, of the, <laughs> the, the military base, um, so everything should be a good wind for me tonight. Just get out of the truck here. <clears throat> And across the road here is just some uh, private crop fields, what it looks like. And there are just all kinds of deer trails through here um, coming out of the public up here. So I'm just checking some of these tracks, make sure none of them are what I want to chase after. Um, something I did notice, there's a lot coming from back there, but there's also some coming from kind of parallel to the road. So um, I'm going to check those because that's something I could see a buck doing is kind of living right off the road coming out this way so yep at least there's deer here that's a decent track right there i don't have a lot of experience with like snow tracks because in indiana and in the south where i hunt we don't have a lot of uh snow but <laughs> looks like a decent track to me <clears throat> just down the road a little bit here maybe half a mile just saw another good crossing here and there's just just some doe tracks there's also pretty good crossing right in here it goes back into those pines but i don't see anything that's calling my name on this particular trail so i keep on looking there's a, a creek right down there you can see i thought there would be a lot more tracks there but nothing nothing real uh nothing at all down there actually coyotes that's about it i'll show you why there's probably no bad, no, no good deer track back here. Looks like someone's been in and out of there hunting. So number one spot right now is the first spot I stopped at. So I've been <laughs> going down this road and stopping at every deer crossing. And I'm starting to realize like there's a deer crossing every 30 yards. Just a, just a insane amount of deer in here right now. So um, I think I'm going to park my truck in this little parking spot right now. I look ahead of me here. Just the amount of deer tracks going down this two track right here. Um, I think I may, I think I may kind of just walk down the road and kind of maybe see if I can find a, a, a set of nice buck tracks and then, and then look at the map. I have a, a, an okay familiarity with this area. Um, I hunted here in September in, the, in this particular spot, but um, it'd be nice to refresh myself on the maps and then I can 
go ahead and, and uh, go in, probably bring my stand and sticks and um, find a place to sit up. I may actually just go, if I, if I find a place, I may go and check one more other, one other spot, then come back and, and sit. Um, it's right now it's four degrees outside, so it's pretty cold, especially because I came from Indiana yesterday with 65, but um, that's all right, I'm prepared for it. So let's get out and look some more tracks. All right, I think I'm ready to go. <laughs> I got uh, winter gloves, I've got my eyewalm thing on the back here, so I'm gonna test it out, give it this maiden voyage here. <laughs> snow is not too bad as far as crunchiness wise it's pretty soft and fluffy so I think I'm good there I mean look at the amount of deer tracks in here nothing else maybe I'll see some deer <laughs> threw some milkweed in the air in that last uh, spot I was at and it was just blowing wrong and swirling and everything else I just thought I'd be best if I just got out of there and tried something different so i'm just going to drive around tonight um in some of the areas that we think may be good uh this late season and just see what i see see if i can get a buck spotted um it's, it's kind of hard to see right now it's everything's shining real bright and then my windows are filthy <laughs> but anyway um i'll let you know if i find one <laughs> It is morning one, go round two in Wisconsin, and got some snow on the ground. It is a hell of a lot colder than it was back in September, I can tell you that. But uh, it should be a fun, a fun week. We're up here for four or five days with the Beast guys, and um, you know we also have tags in our pockets, so we're gonna do what we can to to fill those, obviously. But I think to get started here, we're gonna go back to um, some spots we had checked out back in the early season see what's happening put some cameras out and um, really just do a bunch of scouting today probably a whole lot of scouting from the road until we uh, get on something and feel pretty confident about killing something one of the things that we noticed back in September was a lot of sign or deer activity I guess out near these roads and like looking at the map you have a tendency of trying to get away from the roads basically but um, you can almost look at this place as if the roads were like aren't there um, even getting out of the truck and trying to get past that first edge into that interior edge we were walking through some of the best sign and it took us a day or two just to realize what the hell we were doing wrong just hunting where the sign was telling us to hunt but with that um, the soil was really sandy here I mean obviously there's snow on the ground but before there was a lot of just sandy soil and a lot of the tracks the deer were just using these roads as uh, like as travel quarters. I'm sure most of that stuff's at night, but in a case where you can retract pretty, a little more easy in snow, um, you don't have to work very hard to get on something and then follow that track back to where you can actually hunt them. So I think that'll be part of our strategy for the week too. Just back here on this Oak Island, um, where there was no sign in September, it looks like there was a bunch of deer in here last night, digging for acorns. I mean, it's pretty tore up in here. Um, so we're just gonna drive a loop. We can glass a lot, a lot of this from the road, so I don't know that there's a bunch of, I don't think we should spend a bunch of time, you know, walking any of this and screwing anything up or anything. I mean, I think we can see what we need to see from the road. 
Um, I don't even know that we're going to put a camera here, honestly. So, we'll just drive around the other side and take a look at that pine ticket. It'd be, it'd make a whole lot of sense if they're down in the bottom in that pine ticket and coming over here to feed at night. Which would be really easy to figure out and we'll be able to tell just by driving this loop. So, we'll drive over there and see if, uh, if there's any tracks coming in out of that pine ticket if they're using that for bedding. We're just out doing some covering the ground on the road, basically, and um, just cut this select cut with it has a bunch of oaks in it, and just caught some tracks coming out of this uh, kind of a high stem count area over here. Lucas spotted some a doe over here milling around, so um, there's a pretty good little run through here. We'll just throw a camera up and uh, see what comes through here. I'm sure they're probably buzzing through here at night, but it's close to the road easy to check and we have cell service so even though we don't have cell service on our phones in a lot of these places um, even if we have to come check this camera driving to town to get service we'll be able to know what's coming through here at night and it's a good starting point so we can't be everywhere at once the cameras can so we might as well we have them so we might as well use them Obviously, all, all the deer tracks and signs headed that way. There's a couple rubs back here, and um, just a couple hundred yards in front of us, we bumped what we think was a buck. Um, it was one deer by itself. It blew, and it sounded like antlers were hitting, um, crashing through the brush up here. So we bumped him. We're just gonna go look to see where he's bedded and uh, see what he was doing up there. Everybody, it's day two for me. Um, I'm running super late, as you can see. It's light outside. I wasn't going to hunt this morning; just going to scout. Got busy editing a video and took me a little longer than I thought. So I'm um, a little bit late, but that's all right. <clears throat> I got plenty of time. My goal this morning is to get out a few cell cameras and then, um, you know, get my my spot where I'm going to hunt um, this evening picked out. So <clears throat> yeah, looking forward to it. It's super cold out. It's in the negative something or another. Cold enough. Um, and then Dan is coming either this evening or tomorrow morning, depending on when he can get away. Alex and his uh, partner, Kevin, at Latitude Outdoors, they also are here. They came last night. <clears throat> I got to meet them, chatted with them a little bit. So let's, uh, let's get going on the road here, find, some, find us a big old buck. I was kind of looking at my maps and trying to find maybe a spot that would be overlooked on this base. And I found a spot here that's kind of behind some camping grounds um, that's actually um, open today. What attracted me to it is there are some cornfields um, not too far from this area um, that I could see the deer going going through. And it actually, driving down the road, it looks like kind of a secluded cornfield. So kind of has a couple of check marks for me. So I'm gonna go in here real quick and, and check it out. It's cold this morning. Burr. Cold for me at least. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna get some stuff on here, grab a, a trail camera and do a little scouting in here. All right, so I just walked down this this long road here, and I mean, there's there's probably 30 crossings from deer going back and forth, um, and I really like this spot. It's super thick everywhere back in here, and then there's like a maybe like a little 
um, thicket that goes between here and the crop fields. So um, also there's no boot tracks, which means nobody's been in here. I'm gonna keep going because down farther, back in here, there's a, another field um, that kind of is a hidden uh, cornfield way back in there. So I'm gonna kind of keep skirting around here and in these bedding areas right outside these bedding areas to see what kind of tracks I see. Um, man, maybe I'm a fool, but these snow tracks are fooling me. I'm trying to, either I haven't seen a giant yet or I'm overlooking some of them, but there was one set back there that looked pretty good. But uh, anyway, we're gonna keep looking until we find the one we wanna see. So, uh, you see that there, there's been someone in here um, pretty recently, so that's probably why. There's a lot of tracks in here, but nothing, nothing I'm looking for, nothing big, so a little bit of blood right there. Um, so I'm gonna head out, I'm about back up to the road anyway, and go to another spot. I wanted to get into this area where I found a shed during September. Um, obviously, if there's a, a shed antler um, in this area, probably deer uh, live here during uh, this time of year. So it's actually kind of in the hills here. Um, I'm gonna go up this road, not with my truck, just walking and go right over that top of that ridge and over and there's like a bowl down in there and that's where I found that shed. So just kind of gonna go in there and look around, see what I see and uh, then uh, back out of there and I may go set here tonight if it's if it's good. I haven't really found any place that I'm real, real excited about setting yet, but um, all right, let's get to walking. All right, so walking down through here, and looks like there is a pretty good sized track coming out of here. So um, I'm just going to keep walking down this two track here and kind of assess the situation. <laughs> I'm in the area where I found that shed this September, and there's tracks everywhere in here. So um, that's a pretty good track right there. Looks like it goes down in that, that direction. I'm just gonna kind of skirt this bowl and then find a tree to set in tonight and then get out of here. So, um, yeah, I think it's gonna be a decent spot. I thought about just setting up top so I can kind of glass a little bit, but I don't know, I'm gonna go see what it looks like down in here. All right, so I, uh, I walked kind of on the outskirt of this bowl right here and you can see um, the bowl goes right around that way. There's a ridge up here that just runs like a horseshoe. And I think those deer are all bedding probably on the top up there because there's like a clear cut up there um, that makes a real nice transition. <clears throat> on this side of the bowl, I'm not seeing the sign um, like I was seeing up there on top. And I think that's because of the, probably like that elevation up there. Um, compared to this, it's not as much of an elevation. So um, I think I'm gonna kinda I'll work my way back around to that area and get a tree picked out for tonight and then uh, keep scouting try to find another spot all right I'm back up in the area where I'm gonna hunt at tonight I'm gonna pick a tree out I had this pine right here picked out but since I kind of walked down right through here, I thought about just pushing in a little bit farther on, on the other side of that little mound right there, just to make sure I catch them before they get to my scent. The wind's perfect, blowing right in my face. I think I'm just gonna sneak over that mound, pick a tree out, and then get out of here. So let's go do that real quick. Kind of came up on this little, whatever this is, this levee looking thing. And it looks like there's a lot of deer coming from up there and there's actually deer walking down the levee too. So. Um, there's also some, some tracks up in there. I think I'm gonna get in that tree that splits right there, get in that left uh, trunk, and then just kind of face down this way so I can watch down on that bottom. And then also have a shot up here if something's walking up top, so. That's the plan. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and mark this on all next and then get out of here. All right, heading in. Probably should get my bow, huh? Until I've been scouting more than I've been hunting. All right, now I'm heading in, got my bow. <laughs> Lots of deer tracks down through here. I'm pretty excited about uh, this spot, so. 
should be able to head up through here. And, um, I parked on a different road than the way I came in scouting. It's a little bit closer, but the road wasn't plowed and nobody had been down it, so it's a little bit rough, but I got down it okay. Pretty close to where I'm gonna be sitting at now. Look at this, uh, this track here. You can see. stride it's a pretty big deer um, the snow is kind of fluffy so the um, the tracks aren't real defined whenever they're fresh right now but uh, either way I'm excited about this spot lots and lots of deer tracks now I just gotta pick out the right tree real quick here decided to go with a different tree than the one I picked out earlier scouting I'm gonna get up in this one right here there's a lot more cover up there and uh, I just, there's a lot of deer trails down in here and I may be able to get a shot if I'm up in this tree right here. So, um, as well as uh, deer trails up in there. So, I suspect the bedding is gonna be up on that hillside right there. And I'm thinking they'll be coming down this way to feed down in here um, at night. So, yep, I'll be able to, I'll be able to see really good too tonight. All right, I'm gonna attempt to put this thing on in the tree here. See how it goes. I look like a uh, big marshmallow, but that was actually pretty easy. Took all maybe 45 seconds to get it on. I'm all set up now, nice and toasty up here. Um, I'll just show you guys around real quick. So I'm just in this bowl and you can see it goes all the way up through there, just like a horseshoe ridge. And um, when I scouted down on that side of the ridge, um, there wasn't that many tracks. And it seemed like all the deer were kind of filtering through this way. Below me, there's all kinds of tracks down in here everywhere. There's On this little levee, there's tracks also. So um, there's also a good trail right up in there. sit of the hunt is in the books. I didn't see anything. I think I may just be a little bit too far from bedding right here, but I'm probably 150 yards from bedding and I just didn't feel like I could push it any closer without the deer seeing me if they're bedding on that hillside up there. So it is what it is. So I'm going to go ahead and back up and get down and come up with a plan for tomorrow. All right, so uh, we're out here this morning. It's our first morning here in Wisconsin. We're out here with a, uh, a great group, group of guys. Um, it's absolutely freezing, so it's perfect for a late season hunt. Um, let's see this. It, my dash says uh, negative six right now. Kev is out hunting um, a spot that we uh, glassed last night. We saw, um, we didn't see a ton of deer. We saw a couple smaller bucks. Um, so he dove in there this morning and just went in blind. Um, I decided to uh, drive around this morning and see if I could get some eyes uh, on, on something. Um, I, I haven't seen a ton of deer this morning, but I, I did just stumble upon a spot that looks promising. I probably checked, um, I don't know, five, six different properties uh, since I've been driving around. Uh, I haven't seen any bucks, but I've seen a ton of does and they it looks like they're, uh, I've actually seen a bunch of them bedded right on the edge of food. Uh, some of them were feeding. It looked like some of them were feeding in, in the oaks on the edge of crop and then some of them were, were out in the fields. Um, so anyway, this spot looks promising. We'll probably dive in here this evening. Uh, I'm gonna go uh, pick up Kev. Hopefully uh, he's not totally frozen. Um, so anyway, we'll keep driving around, see if I can, get my eyes on something else headed back but um anyway this spot looks good so i'm excited to to dive in this evening i don't know if you guys can tell this field is just hammered with tracks and keep in mind this is all new brand new snow that came in uh two days ago so these are all fresh tracks 
this is a private field but that back there that's all public um, so there were when I drove up here at first there were deer bedded all along this edge there's probably a group of ten does that were there they were bedded on the edge and then there were a couple standing out in the field feeding um, but this is a really big chunk of public back here and it's uh, kind of a ridge system back there that there's a there's a little cut that's back there and then uh, probably I don't know half a mile to a mile back that way is a, is a big creek bottom uh, it looks thick on the map so we'll have to get some boots on the ground and uh, see what it looks like this evening um, but this is uh, what we're planning on on hunting tonight so we'll see what happens and then across the road here we got a big cut cornfield this I don't know if you can tell there's tracks all in here too you can kind of see they're crossing this this road it's just kind of just a, a back road here so it's not uh, plowed or anything but you can kind of see it drop back that way but you can see all the tracks so there's definitely a ton of deer around here so we'll see I, I would assume there's got to be at least a, a couple bucks hanging out in here so anyway we'll see what happens of the way there just under the tip of this ridge here and there's kind of a little knoll right here about a third from the top as you would expect there's a nice little runway here and there's a couple sets of good buck tracks this is really interesting right here it's kind of this little tent canopy formed from this blow over and you can see there they're digging up in the snow and feeding right here. It's a good rub over here too. Right along this runway. It's not real high, but he's doing it on an angle here. So it's higher than it looks relative to the deer. So Doesn't look like it was done necessarily last couple days, but it's not real old, so uh, the tracks are fresh. So it's just going to be a matter of are they going to be in the bedding ridge that I'm picking, or maybe it'll be over by Al. So hopefully here, kind of covering the either end of this ridge system and coming, entering right up the middle of it. If we did bump anything on the way in, they're going to bump one over one ridge, and then. Uh, hopefully calm down since we're getting in pretty early and uh, come out to these food sources so just want to show you guys that, that pretty cool little canopy there right here at the top of the ridge and I don't know if you can tell but you can just see for a mile up here so bedding with a sight advantage is a huge deal right now it seems like so I circled all the way around this big ridge here behind me and based off the sign I saw the top of the ridge was just pounding. There's a bunch of acorns up there, beds, working down this little secondary finger right to the adjacent to the entrance of this field and 
I was walking past this brush pile and looked up on the ridge where I'm expecting the deer to come from and there was a doe moving 100 feet. She's coming down right now, so I just hurried up and set up on the ground. We'll see, uh, we'll see what happens here. She's coming right at me. I'm gonna flip around here and get set, see if we can get her on film. south wind so I was coming up uh, a west facing 